everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Good morning, I hope you're all doing great this fine day. Am I in my pyjamas? Yes. But they're cute, they were, I think they were my Mother's Day pyjamas. But yeah, got that and I just thought, I'm gonna put on a cute headband, we've got the flowers in the background. And I really wanted to film this because it's been sat here for a little while and then I can show you this. So yeah, what I've got for you today is a big fat haul. Um, it is a haul of beauty, clothes from different, oh baby, from different places. So yeah, it's quite a big haul. I've literally not long put it on my TikTok. So if you ever wanna see what I bought first or see what's happening first, then TikTok is where it's at, but I do want to be more consistent on here. Can we just address how pale I am? Not that there's anything wrong with fair skin, because I know I have the fair skin girlies out there. But for me, I just, just don't feel confident. I do have a little bit of face tan on, we'll come to that. But yeah, anyway, let me show you what I bought. Okay, so we're going to start with Primark. So the first thing I picked up was this chocolate brow in chocolate brown um, brow pencil. It was three pounds. If you guys can see packaging, very, very cute, as you can see. It is in the shade chocolate brown, which I don't love because I find it's a little bit warm, but it's all they had. At the minute I'm using the rare beauty one, which is absolutely brilliant. It is 20 quid though. This is three. So we'll see how we get on. But yeah, I got that. Not sure. I picked up a new scrunchie. These extra large scrunchies from Primark are brilliant, although this one is literally elastic and this through it. So it probably would have been about 20 pence to make. It was three pounds. It is very pretty. It's white. It's got little silver reflex, I think, in it. Or maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe not, but it is so cute i have a black one from them here is the black one from them like it is so thick it is massive like here's a normal scrunchie here's just the size of that and it's so thick it's lovely thick satin this was also three pounds so now i have a black and a white but you can see even in comparison this just even stands up on its own so yeah but them. Also picked up a two pack of wipes. These are two for £1.30 and I got them in pink grapefruit scent. I've never tried the pink grapefruit scent. In fact, I don't really love grapefruit scent, but um, I just use them just to instantly get makeup off, clean dirt off my trainers. I do not wash my face with these and neither should you. They do not wash your face. So yeah, they're always handy just to have a pack off. Clean my hands, clean makeup off my hands into boots and i picked up these i've already used them but they're phenomenal it's the soap and glory exfoli great scrub gloves and when i tell you these are definitely worth the extra money because normally i use the um two for one in primark those kind of gloves they're actually quite shit compared to these so these were a little bit more expensive i think they're around eight pound or ten pound but they are so thick and so nice and they just do the job I find a lot more effectively. So are they worth buying the extra money considering the Primark ones are like two for a quid? I would definitely say yes and I would definitely purchase again. I love those. I picked up another wild deodorant because I've been using this wild now for, see, a good few months. This one is fresh cotton and sea salt if you open it up this is my only thing with it it's that big and to be honest when you oh hmm, smells lovely so there is the product that you get so it's only that big and it doesn't really even last me the, the month really i don't think i'm really get a month out of it and they're like seven pound a pop so i know we're all trying to be good and better for the environment and everything but it's expensive you know it's expensive and you have to stick to a natural deodorant for a good while for it to be effective otherwise you do smell that's what i personally find but 
it is nice. I keep buying it, that's all I'll say. This next thing cost me eight pounds. Like, oh, you can see in the reflection. But it cost me eight quid, but I got it because I see other people. It's from the brand Cantu, which I love the brand Cantu. It's a satin bonnet, sleep cap, and it is this. I've been seeing it all over TikTok, everybody wearing it. And because I use heatless curls every night, I just thought it's going to come in really handy and it protects the hair, stops it snapping, damaging, um, oh, to help minimise snagging, dryness and breakage. And I do have naturally exceptionally curly hair, so I thought we'll try that. But for £8, I just got the normal kind of one here and not like the extra long, but we'll see how we get on because we've got a lot of hair. So I bought that. I got a new heat protectant, the Coco Loco from Mark, no, Lee Stafford. Um, nourishing, alcohol free heat defence infused with coconut oil and agave essence. The spray on it's really nice. A lovely mist, and the fact that it's baby pink on a cigar, I love it. What I will say, I have used this twice now. I only ever wash my hair on a Sunday and I can smell it. It smells absolutely gorgeous kind of in the hair. You know when you move and like I can smell it. I will say that. It smells really, really nice. Oh, stylist tip. Always spray above the area you are about to heat style instead of applying directly onto the hair. This allows the mist to settle gently rather than overloading the hair. Oh, so instead of going, it's... Okay, okay. So yeah, got that. I love the smell and the fact that it's baby pink. Say no more. The last thing I got in boots was a new tan. Now I will say that I did see Michaela Guerrero. Guerrero. I have this tan. I, I don't follow her, but she did pop up and I thought, damn, she's really tanned. I, I love it. I wonder what tan she's wearing. Went through the comments because I knew somebody would ask, and it was this next tan. And I went and bought it and it was £35. Pounds. 35 quid. What in the cost of living were I thinking? Anyway, um, so yeah, it was this tan. So this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Ultra Dark Violet Tan. I've only used it once. I, what I will say straight off the bat is it's definitely not it's definitely not a beginner's tan. I will say that. Um, it smells beautiful. Absolutely beautiful does it smell. Let me have a little, hang on. Like, it smells beautiful. It smells expensive. I would wear it as a perfume. I would wear it, I would use it as an after, an after so a shower gel, sorry. It smells gorgeous. It came off gorgeous. And it did not smell of biscuits, cereal, curry. I, I will say that for that. But it was really wet going on. It was hard to put in like with the mitt. It dried quite quickly, I will say that. Um, my favourite tan is Bellamy Anta. I think it's phenomenal. That doesn't transfer. I just love it. It dries so quickly. But I have only used this once. I am going to use it this weekend for tanning. So I will leave a little thing down in the description box of this tan. I'll leave it beside a little review of it when I think of it again. Uh, straight off the bat, is it worth £35? I will say no. I would give you 20 for it, which is an average tan price, I think. But yeah, Michaela looked gorgeous in it. She was so tanned in it. So yeah, I'll do a proper tanning and see how we get on with that. But that's, that's what I... I got in boots. In to Gordon's and I just wanted to show you this because this is one of my favourite tanning brands. Also it is Be Bold. Uh, their tans are absolutely brilliant. I swear by them. I really, really do. So I picked up the face tan. I haven't used this before and then I've been using it. So you can see it's about, where is it? It's here. So I have been using it. I've got it on my face and neck at the minute. I haven't used it in about Two days, so I'm still really tanned. I'm going to put that on tonight. I mean, for comparison. 
but this is absolutely brilliant. Smells great, makes my skin soft, makes my skin glowy, tans me like there's no tomorrow. My friend even asked me, do you fake tan your face? No, I've been using this. This was a 10, this was 10 pounds. I got it from Gordon's Chemist. You can get it on Be Bold. Really good, can't recommend it enough because you guys know my favourite, I've saved the empty bottle, is the St Moritz face tan. This is absolutely brilliant. I love this as well. I have so many people on this. So good, so affordable. This is £4 in savers. But both of these face tanners are absolutely brilliant. And they're both vegan and cruelty free. Then I went into TK Maxx and find this. So this is the Filter by Molly May Scrub Me. So this is the body scrub from Molly May's brand filter. I find this in TK Maxx and I found it for a fiver. Five pounds. Um, I have used it. I used it last week to get that tan off. What I will say straight off the bat, very runny. Look, it looks a little bit like custard, not custard, porridge. Can you see it's really wet? I will say for me, what I look for in a body scrub, I like it kind of straight up sand. The best body scrub is Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. I've used it for years and I swear by it. It's straight up grit. It gets the tan off quicker than you can say grit. This is very wet. You know, it's not a lot of, of kind of grain in it. It's just it feels like very light grain. So it's not my favourite, but for a fiver, we'll see how we get on with it. And it says prep the skin for the perfect tan. It is vegan, which I love. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. The aesthetic, very, very nice. So yeah, I got that in TK Maxx for five pounds. I think this is the last kind of beauty product that I got and it is the new Sol de Janeiro 59 Perfume Fragrance Mist. This is for, this is a perfume mist and it's for hair and body, isn't it? So I picked up that from Space NK, it was £24. It, if you know the original Sol de Janeiro, it does not smell like that. Definitely doesn't, I would say. Um, it's a lot more grown up, I think. What does it say it is? Uh, oh, here. It says, share the warmth of the sunset with uplifting notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet and sheer sandalwood. So it's a bit more warm and a bit more earthy than Sol, the, the original one which was a little bit more coconutty, vanilla -y, day timey. I'd say this one's definitely a bit more night timey and a little bit more, I would say, grown up. So yeah, 24 quid, money well spent. Well, we're moving on to clothes. I, th I think, I, th I think it's all from Primark, I think, but let's dive in and show you. First thing I picked up was a sweatshirt, and I love this sweatshirt. It's cream and brown, and I love brown. And it's this one here. As you can see, it's just a cream sweatshirt, and it does have a little croissant on there. How cute is that? And then the back says this. Croissants established 1839, freshly baked. I just wanted to show you this, because this little detail is nice. It's rubbery. So there's the back, I'll show you properly. That is what the back looks like. I did get mine in a size large and it was 11 pounds. And I got this because I love, I love a sweatshirt, but I have brown leggings and brown joggers and I just wanted to pair it with that mixing and matching. So yeah, got that. And they only had a size large, which was perfect because that's what, the size I like in sweatshirts. Up, I picked up another sweatshirt again from Primark. It's in a beautiful, I don't know what colour you would describe this as, like a stone maybe. 
were like a putty-ish colour. It says it's light grey on here, but I don't think it looks light grey. But yeah, it's this one here. Absolutely stunning. I think it's like a Japanese work on it. Yeah. I'm not even going to pronounce what it says, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, and I got this in a size small because it was already quite oversized. So I got this in a small. There is the detailing on the front. So pretty. And then the same detailing on the back. And I just loved kind of the pop of orange on there. How stunning is that? Quality of Primark sweatshirts are always a 10 out of 10. But yeah, I got mine in a size small. This one was actually a bit spinny. It was £16. So yeah, got that. I just love this. It's a lovely little jumper. It's baby pink and it's knitted. It's weighty. It's so nice. It's this lovely knit sweatshirt, this jumper. It's got a little collar. It's got a little collar, which I love. And then it's got pocket detailing. It's got lovely detailing on the sleeve. And then it's got the same sort of detailing here on the bottom here it feels really really thick it's plain on the back it came also in like a lovely rich um cream color but i just wanted to go baby pink for spring because i loved it it feels so nice i got mine in a size small and it was 15 pounds i got it in a small because i wanted it obviously slightly slightly a little bit of room but i do not want it oversized and i didn't want it skin tight either but kind of that's what it looks like i just love the detailing of it and it feels really thick really heavy i just really loved it and as i said it did come in a really nice kind of really rich cream as well we can be friends Next, I went to Primark Edit and I got such, such a bargain. I got this beautiful charcoal, like, double-breasted blazer. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's fully lined. The quality of Primark Edit is absolutely just gorgeous. The stuff in there is just beautiful. You are, are paying a bit more for it but it is just so so nice yeah as i said this is from the primark edit it contains wool i got a size 10 for slightly oversizing because i didn't want it skin tight and it this blazer originally was 38 pounds so 40 pounds look what i got it for Mm-hmm, it's Anna. I should have bought them all. Do you know what I mean? Sold them on Vinted or something. But yeah, shoulder pads. The quality is, it does have pockets, but they are sewn, I believe. See if we can open them. And then it's got the split at the back. Again, I will open that as well. But there is the blazer. It is a lovely charcoal -y colour. It feels beautiful. Buttons are just the same colour buttons on it. Like so. So I was just really impressed with that and I'm just so pleased. So yeah. I got three pack of tights. 40 denier. £3.90 for three pairs. So I got those and I got them in a medium. Because of my legs. Long legs. What's my bath tray? Okay. And I also picked up just a new, um, oh, just plain new t-shirt bra in nude. So I picked that up. And then I picked up the new kind of sets from Primark. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up this one like a mauve kind of colour. The, the material is... It feels like that slinky material. Absolutely gorgeous. Double lined. It doesn't have a fastener on the back, so just be aware of that, thinking of your sizes. 
it does have sh the you can alter the straps it does come with a thong bottom but i just absolutely love it i got mine in extra small and it was five pounds so i picked up that absolutely just they feel gorgeous definitely just won't feel them and then lastly i picked up the same set in a lovely lovely cream color i can't tell you how lovely these feel but yeah they were literally just the five pounds got mine in extra small again no fastening does come with a thong bottom i just love them amazing Guys, that is everything I've bought. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not too lengthy. Um, but yeah, there was a mixture of pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already haven't. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used... Let me know if you can in the comments. Let me know if you've used this and what you think. Let me know. Leave a comment. Go ahead. It's free. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have an amazing week, and I will see you in the next one.